Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the free-for-all tournament here on MH Racing. And today we are pleased to be returning to the classic 2017 format. More on that in a sec. All the competitors from 2017's tournament are back this year. The champion to beat is Galaxy. Did you know, in fact, we had an interview with him, and number one is his favorite number. His confidence and ego have rose to all-time highs. Now he has to work harder so that they don't get destroyed. I heard he will not accept number two or number three. Let's have a look on how the tournament's set up. We've got four groups, each with four marbles, and the winners of those four groups will compete in a final match. And the winner of that finals will battle out the winners of the other three videos. Let's have a look at the four heats you'll see in today's marble race. As previously mentioned, these marbles competed in the 2017 marble race. Make sure to check the timestamps if you want to watch a specific race. We got our first competitors up on the track. The gates released, but before we start, let's get a quick look on how White Wolf beat Rocky Mountain in 2017. He is the marble to beat, and I am sure that he believes he has what it takes today, although he falls to third down those first set of stairs. I personally love doing these races because I was diagnosed with autism. I couldn't play sports the way most people could, but with a lot of training, I was able to overcome this obstacle. But I still love envisioning myself as a marble racing through these courses. My goal with m &H Racing is to inspire my viewers to use their imagination to create their own marble tracks. The marbles that didn't move on in 2017's tournament either have very low confidence or have more drive to make the finals. Their last three years of training all come down to this very moment. Back to the race, we have Leopard making it first down fall number three, followed by Python, and later by White Wolf, the winner in the last tournament. Leopard still undefeated, and with White Wolf just entering that funnel, it's going to be very challenging to beat him. He's going to have to go through both Python and Leopard if he wants to get that spot today. There goes Leopard. You can tell he has the drive to win it. And so does Python, but look at White Wolf. Definitely out of his game today, probably because of nerves. Missing both hits there. Leopard's still going to keep that inside corner. White Wolf tried to get a last ditch effort to get second at least, but Python is not going to budge at all, placing second. Man, a disappointing effort there from White Wolf. His ego was probably just too high, and his main opponent, Rocky Mountain, finishes fourth, ironically. And race number two now. Take a look at what happened in 2017. Lionfish used both Space Black and Circus as his advantage to easily get that first place spot. Space Black coming down second, Circus third. Only time will tell what the results will be this year. Tallgrass Prairies getting the inside corner there in that first funnel. No, it's going to be Space Black. Having a little bit of delay there down that green path. Lionfish not wasting any time, but did not time it properly. Circus easing his way past Tallgrass Prairies, but Tallgrass Prairies comes back. If I recall correctly, Tallgrass Prairies was far behind in 2017 and finished fourth. But this time he's coming down second, just behind Circus, and is not able to pass him after Circus gets stuck in that green snake. Almost everyone now in funnel number three. This time it's going to be Lionfish. It seems like the first place marbles are the ones that are suffering. I thought it was going to be the marbles that finished poorly. But it seems like this time the marbles that finished last learned from their mistakes and trained harder than ever for this year. And what do you know? Lionfish still stuck up there. Only makes a hit against Circus, but it's not going to be enough to move on to the finals for this week. Tallgrass Prairies going from 4th to 1st. An excellent improvement. Lionfish snapped out of it far too late and only places 2nd. Not enough to make it to the finals. And the hard thing about this tournament is that it's only 1st place. You either got to win it or lose it. Take a look at the highlight in the week 1 finals of last year. Look how Jungle stumbles there along that green snake and Deep Blue comes back 1st and was able to be one of the lucky three who competed against Galaxy. Can he have a similar fate today? He is, however, up against another amazing veteran, Golden Viper, winning multiple races throughout his MH racing career. Rainbow gonna be beating him, but Golden Viper almost comes back there in that green snake. Deep Blue coming in at last. And sadly, seems like my statement is still true, where the winners seem to be struggling the most this year. 
Rainbow still keeping his excellent lead. Golden Viper down second. Sharktooth beating Deep Blue into the Green Snake. Finally, Deep Blue makes it out. But it's already too late as Rainbow is more than halfway into that third funnel just before you get to that last dish. There he goes down that ramp. Sharktooth beats out Golden Viper coming down second. I think Sharktooth might have a shot against that final spot. But Golden Viper nudges a hit, completely obliterating his chances. It's like Golden Viper was thinking, I'm not going to make it, but how about I ruin someone else's chance? That's definitely one way to go savage when you know you're not going to win. And what do you know? The nail to the coffin, Golden Viper and passing Sharktooth as well. Man, I can feel the satisfaction racing through Golden Viper's veins right now. Now the marble to look out for in this round is Jungle. While he got passed there by Deep Blue at the last second, he was able to keep calm to avoid Sky Blue from stealing the spot. But nonetheless, one more race before the final four duke it out. A tough battle there for the two solid colors. And Sky Blue knocking off Nebula into that green path, followed by Lyman Dasher. Junko coming home third, almost passing by Lyman Dasher there. And Lyman Dasher is going to get a hit there on Sky Blue. And the tension between both marbles just keeps getting higher. Green and blue just weaving in and out, and it's going to be Lyman Dasher into that spiral. Man, Sky Blue just not giving up here. It's really funny to see how some marbles are just in their game today, while others, as we've seen earlier, are just not having it. Jungle, an excellent maneuver, and battling both Blue and Lyman Dasher. But Sky Blue now, getting the lead into the final stretch. And it looks like now he could finally have that moment he wanted in the 2017 race. I can feel Sky Blue's confidence rising every second, but make sure not to take it too far. Lyman Dasher and Jungle trying to find an opening, but they're not able to as he skims the edge. Going down that last snake, and he gets first place. Lyman Dasher is going to be coming down second. Jungle will sadly not have a repeat, and Nebula takes home dead last. And our four finalists are some of the marbles we've never seen in the finals before. Who's going to take home that first spot? We're going to find out right after the break. Hello and welcome back to the free-for-all tournament. The stakes have risen up a notch as the four finalists, who we've never seen in a free-for-all final before, will be competing for the winner of this week. And the winner of the remaining four free-for-all Fridays will all battle it out for the free-for-all champion. Let's see who's going to take it. All these marbles got a boost to their mental energy, which is only going to make the race even more intense. Neck and neck between everyone as there's no space to maneuver. Tallgrass Prairies going down that green snake followed by Leopard. We got Sky Blue and Rainbow battling one on one. But just like all the other races, it's really that first place spot that will reap the rewards. Leopard and Tallgrass Prairies going neck and neck. It's like we got two one on one battles, both them and Sky Blue versus Rainbow. Leopard winning the first battle. Going down that green snake, stalling a little bit, and so does Lyman Dasher. He's got excellent timing though, marvelous, but painful knock to the teeth. And another brutal hit from Sky Blue. Will Rainbow be the final nail in the coffin? Ooh, barely missing him, but that's not going to be the case. But as you can see here, that results Leopard falling down to third. And Sky Blue is going to be taking second into that final stretch. But it looks like Tallgrass Prairies is well ahead of the lead. And I think he does have a really good chance at making that final. He's just skimming the edge. Is Sky Blue going to beat him? No, he's not. Tallgrass Prairies going from dead last to first in the entire week. And we have Sky Blue taking home the second place spot. And Leopard keeping home third. Rainbow coming down last. And Tallgrass Prairies, the first marble in the Free For All Fridays Championship. Stay tuned for week two where 16 more marbles compete for that second spot. While you wait, make sure to check out the video on your right and I'll see you there.